Hi and welcome to The Running Channel, I'm Anna and today I'm going to teach you how to use a foam roller like this one to help maximise your recovery after hard runs. Stretching and foam rolling as a runner is super important, so much so that some gyms even offer entire classes devoted to stretching and foam rolling. Now, by using foam rollers, what you're doing is you're helping to delay the soreness and achiness that you sometimes feel after running. That's DOMS or delayed onset muscle soreness. So by rolling out those muscles, you're stretching them out and you're stopping those aches and pains building up. So to you and me, that's when you get out of bed the day after a really hard run and your legs feel like lead. By using one of these, you can actually help prevent that. Also, when you're using a foam roller, it can help you prevent injury too. What you're doing by using your body weight on one of these is basically like getting a sports massage like you would from the professionals, but to a lesser extent. So by doing some foam rolling regularly, you're less likely to pick up those injuries. A recent study in the Journal of Sports Rehabilitation found that foam rolling two to three sets 30 to 60 seconds at a time, that's per muscle, not in total, is actually effective in reducing those aches and pains and can also help to improve flexibility. There are loads of different kinds of foam rollers and massage devices out there that you can get. We're going to focus on showing you some moves on this one in a minute. But the other ones out there on the market include small spiky balls. They're great for rolling on your feet. I always like to do that one after a really long run. That feels good. Or you can get massage sticks as well. So you can roll those on your calves. They're always quite handy to pop in a suitcase if you're going away somewhere. You can also get smaller versions of these. Again, that's great for traveling. And you will find that with foam rollers, they all come in different shapes and sizes, densities. Some will have ridges, some won't. There's no right or wrong as to what works for you. Try a few out. Sometimes they have them at the gym, you can try them there too. But if you get one that's quite firm, the best thing is, is that you can control the pressure that you're putting on your muscles using your own body weight. So if you've got a firm foam roller and it's hurting a little bit when you're rolling out your muscles, just use a lighter pressure instead. Now, talking of hurting, foam rolling isn't everyone's favorite thing to do. It will hurt. But pay attention to that level of discomfort though. If it's really hurting, then something's probably wrong and you might need to go and see someone about that. But when you're foam rolling, there will be a certain level of discomfort there. So pay attention to the spots that are a bit sore, give them a bit of love and make sure that you're rolling those out quite regularly as well. It's a preventative measure for getting injuries as well as trying to rehab too. Uh, but just make sure that you speak to the experts if you are rehabbing any particular injuries. So now we're going to show you a few moves to do on the foam roller. So we'll start off with your quads and your hamstrings first. They're done in a pretty similar way. So for your hamstrings, you need to be with your legs facing downwards with the foam roller underneath you. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to roll from the hip down towards the knee. So if you put yourself onto the foam roller, and then start rolling that way. So you do start with your feet flexed and roll that a few times. Now you may find that there are a few spots that feel a bit sore if you've been out for a pretty hard run or something. So if you do find those spots, feel free just to stop on those just for a few seconds and then keep rolling. Once you've done it a few times with your feet flexed, then turn your feet outwards as well. That means that you're just trying to get into all of the places where there might be some bits that you need to roll out. And again, you can do it with your feet then turned inwards. Then to work on your quads, it's pretty similar, but you just need to face the other way. So pop the foam roller under your quads and again, bring those legs forward and roll from your hip down towards your knee. So save the best one till last, the calves. Now I roll my calves the most out of any muscles in my legs. They're always feeling quite tight. It's great to roll your calves because it can help you prevent getting things like shin splints and other injuries as well. Now, remember with foam rolling, a lot of it is preventative rather than curing any injuries or niggles. So 
if you do get any injuries or niggles, then make sure you see someone who's qualified to deal with them. So with calf rolling, what you need to do is you roll from your ankle to your knee joint. So just in one motion like this, and you can roll both of your legs together at the same time. Or what you can do is you can roll one at a time with your spare leg, you can pop that one on the floor so you're rolling that way and swap over as well. Or if you want to add a little bit more pressure onto your rolling, you can put your spare leg over the one that you're rolling and that really pushes it down deep into the muscles there. You can also roll on the side here just to make sure you're getting really far into your calves and the same on the outside too. Rolling down there, definitely got a small spot on that one. <laughs> So for a general foam roller session using some of the moves that we've just shown you there, it's probably going to take you about 15 minutes or so. And you can do that at any point of your day when you've got a spare 15 minutes, maybe when you first get up in the morning, perhaps just before you go to bed or even after you've been for a run or before you're going for a run. But just make sure that you are spending that time giving your muscles a bit of TLC. Remember, this is preventative and can really help you stop getting injuries. Now, you may have heard people saying that the longer that you spend on foam rolling a certain sore spot or a knot, the better, and the more likely it is that you're gonna get rid of it. Well, that's not always the case. If you do find that you've got a particularly knotty area or something that's causing you a bit of discomfort, sure, spend about 30 seconds putting your body weight on the foam roller in that area, but any more than that, you run the risk of making it irritated and just really hurting the area. So hopefully you found some of these tips useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to The Running Channel and we'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>